eyes look like monsters to tell. Hmm? Your eyes? They look like they have stories to tell. Is that the line you used to serenade every girl you meet? But of course not. Sure, you didn't rehearse that like five times before coming here. <laughs> but, but no. <laughs> I don't believe you. But I'll bite. Hi. Hi. Um, I'll fear me. Ha! <laughs> Red flag. Are you serious? Come on. Yeah. Common sense demands that I run you real right now. You know that's a stereotype, right? Look, I'm different. I promise. All right, try me. My eyes. What stories do they tell? Earlier when you looked at them, what stories did they tell you? Grief. Yeah, you tell me stories of grief. It's like you're here staring at me, but you're not. It's kind of like you're stuck in memory or the past, grieving the loss of someone or something you cared about deeply. Probably yourself. Yeah, but you're like suppressing that grief. That way it doesn't show physically you know, restricting into the confines of your imagination, hiding from reality. You got all that from one look? Yes. Well, no. But I've, 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 seen, I've seen it before. Where? In the eyes of the other girls you use these lines on. All right. You're the first person I've ever said those words to. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you. Well, you asked me to be honest. Yeah, well, you're wrong. Am I? Why in denial of that too? Um, are you waiting for someone? Right, I should leave then. Stay. Naira, for your thoughts? Hmm? You just, you look like you have a lot on your mind. I'll pay to you then. Oh, we're about to be rich, rich. Nah, that much, huh? <laughs> we're not still. You can't be serious. I'm not about to tell a stranger all about my life. You could be a serial killer for all I know. But I could also be the best thing you've ever known. I mean, take risks and succeed. Be optimistic. <sighs> okay, so what do you have against that now? I believe... Optimism is a delusion that people indulge in to get themselves through their shit whole lives without giving up. Who hurts you? No one. I don't believe you. And it's none of your business. Look, you're a stranger. It would be weird to tell you all about my life. Understandable. Okay, you know what? Ask me anything. Anything at all. Answer honestly. What's your story? Why are you here? Okay, so today is my last day in Abuja. Um, my service here is over and I'm going back to Delta tomorrow. But you don't want to. No. I've fallen in love with Abuja. I mean. Terrible mistake. She's a heartbreaker. Yeah, One of the first things I wanted to do when I came here was a photography tour. You know, I wanted to capture the story the city had to tell. You know, it's nooks, crannies, estates, trenches. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it may all seem mundane, but beneath the vastness of the city lies different people with their individualities and their quirks. We each bearing stories of pain, resilience. Yeah, so I want to capture all that. That's it. <laughs> Your story. <laughs> you know, you are really hard to please, right? <laughs> well, nothing good comes easy. I have responsibilities back at home. My mother. My mother has Alzheimer's. And my brother is in uni. You know, it's not been easy for him, you know, handling schoolwork, nursing a sick mother. And no relatives? <laughs> nah. It's just three of us. 
That must be tough on you. Or tougher on her. And most times I don't know what's worse, not being able to recognize your own kids or not being able to recognize yourself. You know, most times she just sits and stares out her window with this lost look in her eyes. So, your eyes? It reminded me of hers. It's like she has a thousand stories to tell, but she doesn't know how to. At least not anymore. It's like she's stuck in her head, you know, grieving the gradual loss of herself. Yeah, well, that's why I have to go back. But... Yeah. I really don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> You know, this may sound selfish, but a little part of me wants to leave Delta behind. You know, start afresh, explore the city. Just, you know, live life for myself for once. Anyway, that's it. My story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, so do you feel comfortable enough to tell me yours now? A little. Really? Okay. You know what? Do I see it? We're both here. We're not exactly doing anything. I mean, I have the rest of my day off. And your guy doesn't seem to be arriving anytime soon, so... You don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. But aren't you curious to see how this ends? You know, us. I mean... <sighs> Hi, Feb. I'm EJ. Nice to meet you. Have you tried egg roll and beans? Do you regret it? It's hard being away from family, especially with my mom. I'm determined to make it here. I mean, there's the studio, there's you. That's my home now. How about you? Do you regret it? Not one bit. Of course, I ask myself, what if I had ignored you that day? What if a version of me had told you to get lost? Well, that's a question that has no right answer. It's left for us to decide if we need an answer. And what have you decided? I have you. I need no other answer. Happy one year anniversary. Happy one year anniversary. If you really want to see the city for all its glory, then why are you here on your last day? Why aren't you somewhere else taking pictures? Okay. Oh, because that way I wouldn't get to, uh, you know, I wouldn't enjoy it. You know, I'll just be in a hurry to keep, to, you know, capture time and keep the hostage in my pictures. But here, you get to bask in it, you know, soak it in. I mean, look, I may not be holding a camera right now, but I'm taking mental photographs of everything. You know, every breath, every sigh, every smile. That way she stays with me forever. Hey, yeah, that's a beautiful pendant. It's a gift from my mom. Right. She said it brought out this spark in my eyes, which is weird because my eyes are stark black. And I'm not even a fan of pendants anyway. And I'm rambling. My mom said not to do that. Uh, it's fine. It's OK. Do you say this to every girl you meet? If I said no, would that scare you? A little. Right. So then pretend I said yes. Pretend this is not me being totally honest, because I'm going to like the sound of your voice. That's a great view. Yes, it is. For the record, my favorite food is ever anogona soup. Ew. What do you mean ew? It's the best. Mm. Oh, you want to start a war? Because that's what I'm getting from your tone. You want to fight me, Abby? First of all, Ogbona is disgusting. And then we have Eba that is like the houseboy of swallows. Okay, look. We have pounded yam, semo, wheat, then Eba. No, no, I forgot one. Amala. That's mutiny. I could have you in handcuffs for that. Ooh, sexy.
What's your biggest fear? I, uh, fa failing? That's generic. Everyone is scared of failing. Think hard. What's your biggest fear? Yo, I don't know. I don't know what's yours. Water. Water? <laughs> we, we water as in H2O. As in... Uh, don't. Don't, don't, don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. don't what? Of course. Of course you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just say you're out of shape and go. Stop with the silly excuses. <sighs> when I'll be begging you to follow me to the gym and be doing shakara. Why won't you be out of shape? It's not me, I shall anyway, you that will fit for Johnny. That's like you still wake up by 2 a.m. to turn up. It was a one-time thing, Joe. <sighs> Happy birthday. Here's your present. No, you did it. Yes, I did. Stop, yo. I hate you, Joe. How is it? It's totally disgusting. It's unbearable. <laughs> I'm Look. glad. Your real presence at home. How's mom see? You should be there celebrating with them today, you know. What's the point? She won't even remember. Family. Look, can we not talk about this today? I mean, we talk about it every other day, so just this once, I'd like to sit out here, enjoy the beauty of nature, with the love of my life, worrying about nothing else. Now you got me all wet. <laughs> so, what about you? Hmm? Any long term relationships? Yeah, well, I did tell this girl recently for about five months. She said I was a picky eater. <laughs> totally unacceptable. Right. <laughs> but that's not a long term thing now. Why? Relationships don't have to go on for decades or forever for them to be genuine. And you could love someone forever, and forever could be a minute, a year, a month, ten months. Forever could be all the time I've known you. <laughs> You're actually mad. <laughs> no, but it's true, it's true. You know, people keep chasing after this unrealistic, eternal love, and they forget to cherish the honest and genuine love the experience in the little moments. Because it is simply impossible to have this genuine love you speak of in a short amount of time. What if I told you that I was in love, or that I am in love with the version of you that I know so far? I don't even know who this version of me is. But isn't that what our lives are for? You know, constantly discovering new versions of ourselves, letting these versions blossom and bloom into different people with individual routines and unique perspectives. I think these versions give us the best experiences of our lives without us even realizing it. That's why sometimes we have to be selfish. You know, take risks, fall in love, get heartbroken, try new adventures. Get money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, money is good, but it's the little moments in life that really fulfill us. Moments like this? Moments like this. Do you want to get out of here? What? I'm a stranger. Mm, indeed. <laughs> but for some reason, I feel like I've known you my entire life. And I don't want that to end. Knowing you. Just 
My apologies. I didn't know the whole place was cut. That's fine. Ah, I'm a mess. Ignore everything. Hey, 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 hey. It's fine. Alright? It's fine. What time is it? Half to eight. What? Damn, I have to go. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah. Can't you just <laughs> stay for a little bit? Please? Please just, just stay. Just stay with me for a little while. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Just five minutes. Please just stay, okay? Sorry. Femi, please don't go. Please. Just let me go. Femi, please. Please don't leave me. Hi, Je. Hope you're good. Um, I've been trying to reach you for a while now. I called several times. You have to talk to me, Jay. I was his brother too, and we're all grieving. Just call me back when you come. Take care. 